Once upon a time, a spacecraft named Rosetta was launched into the night sky. A long, long journey lay ahead of her to uncover the mysteries of our solar system. Rosetta carried a little passenger, the lander Philae. It had taken many, many years to dream up this mission, and now Rosetta was on her way to the far-off comet churyumov gerasimenko The original way of selling science or de de decreeing what has happened in science was the, the staid press conference of, we are going to tell you this result, and everyone turns up and here. We still do those, but the day-to-day -day running is also something that people want to hear about. People want to see what is happening inside the mission, and we try to do that to some extent. And actually, through my talks, I try and do that a little bit more in terms of Trying to introduce some of the personalities is difficult because the team is massive, but to, to try and bring that across. And social media has that capability of allowing you to do this. I, I would say, as somebody that works for ESA, we hadn't done a great job beforehand. We were doing okay, but this allowed us to do things differently, to, to investigate the social media aspect, to try and do blogs, to try and feed Twitter with information all the time. So it was a, it was a different way of doing things, and I think it's been reasonably successful. It was a, a, there's a little bit of trial and error. This was still only the beginning of the adventure. Originally, I think there was one cartoon that we were going to do, and then you, you try a few things and, and see what works. You know, we knew that the, the blog uh, was supposed to have be one way of doing things, and it actually evolved into something else. It was supposed to be a bit more raw, but it became a bit more clean, actually. Um, the cartoons were all of a sudden, they were an instant hit. We needed to put more out, it was obvious. They were fantastic for a number of colleagues who work in, in, in all over Europe. You know, if you go and give a talk at a school, all you effectively have to do, actually doesn't, uh, even at university to some level, you can put one of these cartoons up in the language and that's it. It tells you the story, they're, they're accurate. They have stuff in them that is exactly what happened to the spacecraft. So it's, they work very well. It's a, it's a good vehicle to, uh, to put forward the message and what Rosetta has done. But that was a trial and error. It was, we'll do, no, actually, let's do some more. We'll do this and then we'll have a, a line of them, as it were. So it's, it's something that has built on. You, you have a perception of maybe what will work and then you test the waters and, and now we have a better feel for things. Mm -hmm.